Well, hello my magical giants, welcome back to my Disney YouTube channel. For today's video, I've got my Disneyland Paris haul. Yay! Guys, I had the most magical trip in Disneyland Paris. Five days of complete magic. I smashed my bucket list and did so much more. Amazing fireworks, incredible shows, the best character interactions, met so many characters, delicious foods, such magic and now I'm back, the Disney blues have well and truly kicked in this is the worst part about a Disney trip that's coming back and like the absolute Disney blues depression kicks in but I'm just looking forward to my next trip for Halloween time in October with my friend Caitlin so trying to stay positive, think of that, I've been watching Disney movies and of course I've got my Disneyland Paris haul today which is making me very excited because I'm absolutely in love with everything and I can't wait to show you guys what I got. So the first thing I want to show you is my most expensive purchase from the trip and my most favourite item, and that is, ah, it is the iconic Hatbox Ghost from all of the Haunted Mansion and Phantom Manor attraction in Disneyland Paris. So it's a gym show Disney tradition, which I love gym shows, I've got them all around my bedroom, you guys already know that. But this is absolutely incredible, it's so detailed, from the base upwards. So you've got his creepy eerie face there, and his classic hat, and he can either hold his head in here because his face is actually removable, it's like a magnetic force. So you can either put his head in here in the jar for he's holding it or you can just leave it on his face there like I've done. But everything on you is incredibly detailed so you've got his cape there, his base, you've got his hat, his creepy face which you can like I said remove either in here or up there. And yeah, I just think this is amazing. It was around 75 euros, which is pretty expensive, but I think for the fantastic quality and the incredible details of it, it's completely worth it. And for the fact that I absolutely fell in love with Phantom Manor, I hadn't been on it since the refurbishment. So it was my first time going on the new version of the Phantom Manor and I fell in love with it. I wrote it so many times. I had like a million pictures with Phantom Manor. It is so gothic, so haunting, so beautiful. It is my favourite attraction now alongside Tower of Terror. So yeah, I had to get it because I fell in love with it. So the 75 euros was totally worth it. I found him in the Frontierland store, if you guys were wondering. And yeah, I just think he's fantastic. And I also met um, Phantom Manor Mickey, which was like a bucket list thing for me. So I was so happy meeting him. So that also commemorated meeting Phantom Mickey. So yeah, I love this. Then the next most expensive item I got is actually this super cute frozen figurine of Sven and Kristoff. Now, I absolutely fell in love with Frozen 2, so I knew I needed something Frozen 2 in my life. And Into the Woods is one of my favourite songs from the new Frozen 2 soundtrack. So I had to get this scene from Into the Woods with Sven and Kristoff. How cute are they? I think um, Kristoff is so handsome and then Sven is absolutely adorable. Like, look at his little face here. I'm trying to zoom in. There we go. So I had to get this. And I was actually in Disneyland Paris for the Frozen celebration. So I wanted to get something to commemorate that because I did all the Frozen 2 parades. I met Olaf. So I thought getting something from Frozen 2 would be very fitting to commemorate the celebration of Frozen. So yeah, I had to get this. And when I was in the parade, I saw Kristoff from afar and I like shouted, Kristoff, I love you. And then he was like, I love you too. And he couldn't come over sadly because he had to catch up with the rest of the parade. So he had to go, but he was like, I'm really sorry, I gotta go. And I was like, it's fine, honey. You you noticed me from all the way over here even though I'm absolutely drenched with my soaked hair and my oversized hood to my core but I don't care he acknowledged me so I had to get this and it was about 24 euros and I got it from the big frozen shop in Walt Disney Studios Park but yeah I think that is so cute and did I say it was 24 euros yeah 24 euros so that is that and I'm just gonna quickly zoom out because my camera does not want to zoom in today so also to commemorate the Frozen celebration, I picked up this super cute plush of Bruni. Look how adorable he is. He is Elsa's fire lizard from Frozen 2. He was about 13 euros, which is quite expensive for a tiny plush. But like I said, he is adorable and I love him. Just look at that little face. So that is my Bruni plush. And then I also got a Bruni pin from the Disneyland Park Hotel. And I think this is stunning. So it's just Bruni looking so cute. Again, I'm so sorry about my camera quality. I'll try and zoom in. But yeah, I think this is adorable and it was colour coded green because Disney pins don't have prices. They have colour codes. So yeah, that was colour coded green for Bruni. And then, much to my surprise, I found the limited edition Bruni pin with the pink fire flames. Now, I wanted this so bad before my trip, but I thought I'm not even going to try and look for it because it came on the it came out on the um, 15th of January, I want to say, and my trip wasn't until the 25th. So I was like, there's no point looking for it. It's going to be sold out. 
and it was the last one left in the Disneyland Park Hotel. So I freaked out and the cast member behind the desk was like, oh my gosh, it's the last one. And I was like, I know, it is meant to be. I was so happy. Like the sounds that came out of me, I was squealing. So yeah, I was very happy to have this and I just think he looks so cute with the pink flames. So I love that and that is colour coded orange in case you guys were wondering. And then also to commemorate the Frozen celebration, I got this gorgeous Frozen 2 jumbo pin where you've got all the characters from the movie. So you've got Elsa, my main girl, you've got Anna looking gorgeous, Kristoff and Sven. And of course, because I met Olaf, I had to get something with Olaf on there. So Olaf is on there on the bottom looking adorable. And this was colour coded orange. I believe this was 10 euros. Oh, sorry, this was yellow. And yeah, colour coded yellow. And I'm pretty sure it was 10 euros, which I think is an amazing price. So I love that pin. And then I also picked up a few Frozen 2 Celebration freebies. So I got the program, which is all the character meets and all of the show times in here. So I kept that as like a little memory and souvenir. So that was that. And then I got a few of these Frozen Celebration badges, which you can get completely free. Um, ask your hotel cast member or ask one of the cast members in the park and they'll give you a few, which is really kind. Because they gave me like seven and I was like, thank you. <laughs> So those are adorable and I also kept another freebie now this um, is nothing to do with the frozen celebration I just wanted it this brought me joy every single day because it was my pack card this is what I used to get into the both and um, to get into the both to get into the two packs in Disneyland Paris my magic pass so this is very special to me so I'm keeping it and then I went on at Tower of Terror. Now I've got a little bit of a story. Tower of Terror is my all time favorite Disney park attraction and I only got to ride it once um, this trip, which is crazy to me. I normally ride it like 12 times, but um, the queue just wouldn't go down. It was the only ride which I couldn't walk on. I even walked on Crush's Coaster, which is unheard of because that ride is like a crazy queue, but I couldn't get a Tower of Terror. So I was about to give all hope. But on the last day, my mother and I managed to get a fast pass. So we were so excited because it's our favorite ride and they refurbished tower as well and the new refurbishment much like phantom manor is incredible it's a lot creepier the drops are better it's scarier i loved everything about it like it was the last thing i did on my last day of the pack too so after i got off it i was crying because it's just like filled with happiness so i had to keep my fast pass ticket for that so that's so special to me because it's my favorite ride ever and it's just such a great memory of the last moment on my trip so that's that. So that is the freebies. And now I'm going to go on to the super cute figural key rings that I picked up. Now, these figural key rings are in every store in Disneyland Paris. There are so many characters. So I got Sally from the Frontierland shop. I thought she was adorable. I love the bright colours on her. And I've recently been on such a nightmare for Christmas kick, so I had to get it. But yeah, I think she is so cute. These were about seven euros. I'm going to try and zoom in for you guys. And when I go to Disneyland Paris for October for the Halloween season, I will be getting Jack to match my Sally. But yeah, I just think she is so cute, guys. I'm so sorry about my camera. Yeah, she's adorable. So that is Sally. And then one of my all-time favorite characters is Dumbo. And I think this is such a cute, chunky for girl keyring. I absolutely adore Dumbo, so I had to get this one. Now, like I said, they had so many characters in all the different can't speak in all the different stores in the parks. But Dumbo didn't seem to be anywhere and I was about to give all hope with Dumbo. I was like, I'm not going to get him. I can't find him, even though I've seen him on somebody's haul before I went to Disney. And I went to go one night to the Chuckle Wagon Buffet in the Cheyenne Hotel. And I thought I'm just going to pop into the Disney store they have here just to see in case they've got Dumbo in this gift shop. And they did. So I squealed when I saw him. I was so happy to have finally got Dumbo. And it's just so cute. I love this. And then the final key ring which I got is my one of my favourite characters of all time and you don't see much merch of Lotso at all. So I got this adorable Lotso figural key ring and he's even holding his little cane from the movie which I think is so cute. And I actually dressed up as Lotso for the Walt Disney Studios day so I thought that was very fitting. But yeah it's just a really cute Lotso key ring and I love it. So that was my figural key ring. And now I'm going to show you all of the pins that I got because I mostly spent a majority of my money on pins. I'm recently on a huge pin obsession. So the first pin I got is to commemorate Phantom Manor because like I said, I absolutely love that attraction. So I thought this is beautiful. It's very gothic and I love the green writing. It just says Phantom Manor. I'm going to try to zoom in. So yeah, I love that and that was colour-coded orange. 
And then I've been recently on a Marie kick. I just think she's so sassy and perfect in every way. So I got this beautiful Marie pin and she looks as gorgeous as ever. Can you see that? That was colour coded green as well. But yeah, I think this pin is so beautiful. So that's my Marie. I got the baby version of Marie because this is the cutest thing ever. Look at her lashes and her beautiful blue eyes. I think that is adorable. And that was the colour coded green. I wanted so many of these baby pins because I thought they were precious. But I managed to resist and just stick to two. There was a Pegasus one, which I think I'll get next time. But I got my all-time favourite character, the Cheshire Cat, in the baby form. Look at his eyes. How adorable is that? So that is that one. And then I got this gorgeous pin of the Cheshire Cat holding the this way, that way sign, the iconic sign from the movie. And I think this is gorgeous. And because he's holding that sign, it kind of reminds me of the attraction, the Alice Curious Labyrinth in Disneyland Paris, which I love. It's just a gorgeous, huge, colourful maze. And I have to get this. So I love that because Cheshire Cat is my fave. And like I said, it reminds me of the Curious Labyrinth. And then, because I stayed in the Hotel Santa Fe, which is personally my favourite Disney hotel, I had to get the pin. I love the theming of my hotel. It was like bright orange and Mexican slash cars themed. The theming is incredible in the Santa Fe. Like, I have stayed at pretty much all the Disneyland Paris hotels. I have stayed at Hotel Cheyenne, the cowboy themed. I've stayed at the Square Lodge. I have stayed at Newport Bay and Santa Fe. So the only ones I haven't stayed at is Hotel New York, which is soon to be a Marvel hotel. And of course, the main Disneyland Paris hotel, because girl, I cannot afford that. But yeah, Hotel Santa Fe is my favourite out of all the ones I've stayed at. And I stayed there this time again, so I had to get this. And this is colour-coded yellow. I hope you can see it. It's just Mickey in his Mexican hat with the golden key. And then, because I met Chip and Dale in Adventureland, and they were cute and mischievous as always, I got this super cute Chip and Dale pin, which I love. I just think it's adorable. I absolutely love these cheeky chipmunks, and they were so funny. They liked the pink ends on my hair, and then they wanted pink hair, so I was trying to explain to them that next time I come, I will dye their hair pink. So yeah, I had to get that to commemorate meeting them. And then, like I said earlier, I love Dumbo, so I got two Dumbo pins, which are so cute. The first one is Dumbo when he's doing the show, holding on to his little feather with his face paint. I think this is such a cute pen and it's colour coded green. So sorry about the glare guys. And then I got this huge pen, which is quite a hefty one, of Dumbo looking adorable with his ears dotted on the top and he's holding a little flag. And then Timothy is on there, which I love because Timothy is everybody's favourite mouse alongside Mickey, of course. Actually, I'm going to commit a crime here. I think I prefer Timothy to Mickey. Sorry about it. He is just so cute. <laughs> so yeah, that is Dumbo and Timothy. I love that pin and that was colour coded orange. So that was all my pins. Doesn't seem like a lot, but they're expensive when they all add up. And then to go with my pins, I got this gorgeous Cheshire Cat lanyard because Cheshire Cat's my favourite character. So it's just a cute lanyard and you can keep the ticket or your annual pass holder or your card in here, your magic pass. So I thought that would be perfect for the parks in the future. And then, of course, the lanyard for all your pins is the classic Cheshire Cat stripes, which I adore. This was 13 euros, which is quite expensive, but I've never actually rocked pins to the park. I just keep them in my Cheshire Cat bowl. So finally now I can go to the Disney parks and rock my lanyard with my pins. So I'm very excited about that. Then I picked up this adorable three pack of sanitizers. You've got Daisy, Minnie and Mickey. The only reason why I purchased this very expensive 11 euro hand sanitizer pack is because it has Daisy on there, which is crazy I know, but I wanted Daisy merch so bad and there's nothing, not even a pin with Daisy on it in Disneyland Paris, which broke my heart. So when I saw that my girl was actually on something, I had to get it. But it is very cute, you can never have enough hand sanitizer, so I'm going to pop them in my handbag. And you've got the flavours of, not the flavours, the scents of Sherry Cherry, Hello Sunshine and Flower Power, the cutest names ever. And I just think they're adorable. But yeah, they were very expensive for what they were. But so cute. And then one of my favourite items which I picked up from this trip is this incredible six pack of park attraction pens. I love the bright colours on these. And I love that they've got so many attractions and characters on there. So you've got the Disneyland Park Fantasia Gardens pen, which is one of the most beautiful areas of Disneyland Paris, if you ask me. And you've got Minnie and Mickey on there looking adorable. You've got Stitch on the Pirates of the Caribbean one. And I rode Pirates of the Caribbean so many times during magic hours. I have not magic hours. It was like that period when like it was still early. So it was just after magic hours, which is about 10 o'clock. Um, and I was doing a lot of solo days and I was cold because it was really cold in Paris. 
because it was cold because it was really cold in Paris. It was freezing in Paris and I got really cold. So I went on Pirates of the Caribbean to warm me up and it was always like five minute wait in the morning. So I decided to do that. So yeah, um, I love Pirates of the Caribbean, so I'm glad that's on there. And then of course you've got the Ratatouille ride, which is exclusive to Disneyland Paris, and you've got Emile and Chef Remy on there. You've got my favourite attraction, which is the Hollywood Tower of Terror Hotel, with Pluto and Goofy has bellboys, which I love, that's so cute that they're in their bellboy outfits. And then you've got Hyperspace Mountain with the Darth Theatre, and the Mad Hatter Teacup attraction, which is also a really pretty area of Disneyland Paris with Grumpy the Dwarf on there. So I thought those attraction pens were so cute. They were 12 euros, but I think they're fantastic price because I just love the bright colors on them. And I love that they've got all the attractions on there. So now when I write in my notebooks, I've got a bit of Disney magic with me. So I love those. Those are one of my favorite purchases actually. Then I picked up some candy and my favorite candy to get at Disneyland Paris is the Goofy Candy Company Sour Tongues. These are absolutely delicious. Like I always pick a pack of these up. They are so yummy. They're $3.99, which is like ridiculously priced for candy. But when in Disney, you get sucked in, and I did, so I picked these up. They are so yummy. I picked up another pack too, but they've been demolished, and now they're happily sitting in my stomach. Then, for a gift for someone, I got these beautiful Disneyland Paris chocolates these were 10 euros but i think the packaging is stunning and you guys know me i'm a sucker for packaging but they have chip and dale mickey donald goofy minnie all the different characters on there and it says disneyland paris so i thought these were perfect for 10 euros because there's actually two layers of them and they're just cute character chocolates so i thought they'd be perfect gifts and then also a few gifts I got is this Disneyland Paris magnet from my amazing friend Vanessa. Now Vanessa lives in Texas in the US so she's been to all the Disney US parks but has never been to Disneyland Paris so she was like please pick me up one or two items and I was going to do that anyway for my girl so I've got this for her. It's very cute. It's so colourful and each letter is a character which I think is amazing. So it says Disneyland Paris and you've got um, the Incredibles. No sorry let me do that again. So you've got Mickey Mouse for the D, you've got Chef Remy for the I, you've got Buzz Lightyear, you've got Lightning McQueen, you've got Stitch, you've got The Incredibles, you've got Mike Wazowski, Woody there, Nemo, Sully in the end. So I thought this was so cute that it's a character for each letter and this was about five euros. It's an adorable magnet. And then I got a Disneyland Paris exclusive Minnie Mouse keyring because she loves Minnie Mouse. So you got Minnie on there looking gorgeous in her colour scheme. You've got a cute red hat and a red glittery bow. And then, of course, the Eiffel Tower for Paris, which I thought was perfect for Vanessa. And that was 10 euros. I just think that is adorable. So that's for Vanessa. And then for one of my closest friends, Sarah, she is not the biggest Disney fan. So she was like, I don't really want everything. I love Disney. Um, and we're actually thinking of doing a trip soon in the future, which is very exciting. But she was like, I'm not a crazy Disney fan, so don't worry about getting me anything. But of course, I had to. So I got her this super cute two pack keyring set of Chip and Dale. I thought that I could keep one and she could keep one because the chestnut in the center actually connects. So it's like a friend keyring set. So one friend gets one and then the other gets the other. You kind of can't speak. You guys know what I mean. But yeah, I thought this was very cute. And like I said, I love Chip and Dale and Sarah is the chip to my Dale. So I had to get this. So I thought this was adorable and these were nine euro. So cute. So I think that was everything. Yes, it was. That was everything. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. Let me know what your favourite item was that I picked up. And of course, stay magical.